I know something that you wrote down and just talking about um, Eric Weinstein, because I think he's kind of mentioned this here and there, like the simulation theory, like he's kind of talked about simulation. I know it's something you put in your notes. Well, I'm just curious if you want to go there, because that is something that I think about all the time. Like, (laughs) I just think about it. Like, God, I would love to pick someone like Eric Weinstein's brain on like what he thinks about simulation theory. Elon Musk, too. I mean, he talked. He goes into it enough, even on the, the most recent episode, right? He even with with Lex, he said like at the end, he was like, they talked about simulation theory. Lex asked him the question, if you, you know, well, I forgot how he worded it, but he was like, if you discovered the source, what would you ask? And Elon Musk said, what's outside of the simulation? And I was like, God, yeah, such uh, yeah. an interesting thing. I and he went ahead it. and paused for like 15 <sighs> seconds before. Intense, yeah. yeah and he talked cool. about on Joe Rogan's podcast too. I'm just, what are your thoughts on that? Like, where do you stand with simulation theory? Um, I, I think there's an element of, uh, um, I've I've debated a little bit on Reddit. I love debating with people on reddit yeah. about that stuff because there's so many intelligent people out there yeah. who who like and i like sometimes i like stirring the pot a little yeah. better pushing buttons because you get super intelligent people giving you you know their experience their knowledge right just dumping it out yeah, for sure. whether they're slinging it at you and calling you an idiot so a lot of times they got good information yeah um it's a good platform for that that's why i i, I use it to like post podcast episodes and stuff it's been awesome definitely so um the other day, I was uh, um, kind of going back and forth with um, this one guy about simulation theory, and and I don't remember exactly what he said, but he set me back regarding the. Uh, it was something along the lines of testability mm-hmm. science, and it, here's what it did for me: was um, there's a lot of areas in my life where I get excited about things that. Um, that would be would be considered pseudo pseudoscience like mm. like anything that you can't test right yeah yeah and and i was going back and forth with him and then near the end of it he worded very very eloquently um why there's limits to those debates mm. because there's in there's areas where you can't test and he and i think um compassionately and humbly explained to me that um, in the field of science, it's it's um, I don't know you would call it disrespectful, but it's out of place to be arguing about these things. Mm. So that it kind of like clicked for me that oh, so when I'm talking to scientists and kind of throwing ideas back and forth with them, they could get frustrated or even offended if I'm insisting that something that's mm. not even testable that I have because I have a feeling mm. about it. Yeah, you know that's interesting. I would, yeah. I would wonder why, why, why would that be? That's something I've always wondered, like exactly what you're saying. Like, um, Sean Carroll, do you listen to Sean Carroll? He's been on Joe Rogan, love Sean Carroll. Sure. He's cool. He's definitely really cool. But I've like wanted, I've wondered, like, I would like to ask him questions about this kind of stuff. I don't think, I don't see why it's, it's why, like why it's, did he explain why it's out of place or why people find no. it offensive? Because what? I see why, because you have to be able to test in science. I mean, it's it's something where if you can't test or you're asking the, the questions that are like outside the realm, like what can you do as a scientist? You can't really, you yes. know, like what can you even do? You can't, you know, there's not much you could do, but I think that's important. Like I would say that's an important thing to, to, to bring up is like, what you know, what the questions that go outside of it, I think you have to think about, you have to ask the questions. So I, I would definitely be curious to ask to like ask someone about like Sean Carroll what does he think about simulation theory I don't know that he's talked about it I haven't heard him at least not that I can remember but um I think I think I've heard him I think I've heard it mentioned oh really Um, cool I think I remember a guest he had on where where they kind of or it might have just been no no it wasn't simulation Hmm. theory it was multi-worlds gotcha oh yeah yeah he's definitely (laughs) talked about that quite a bit yeah for sure but I I think about you know, I, it makes sense to me, <laughs> simulation theory. And the thing, too, that um, I always like to, when I kind of mention it in passing, because people, a lot of time, people think immediately, oh, you believe in simulation theory? Like, that's ridiculous. Or it's like, you could even say it's like woo-woo stuff. Like, oh, you believe in... But I, I don't think of it that way. I kind of think of it like, 
the way that I that it makes sense to me is not even really trying to go outside the realm of science, but think about it in terms of like what we are as humans. I think I've talked about another podcast is like, to my understanding, we have five senses, you know, and everything that we touch and hear and taste and feel and smell is data. So it's data and we are interpreting all this data with our five senses and interpreting it in such a way where we form our own subjective story that can help us move through life. What the fuck is the difference between that and a video game? Like that's what a simulation is. It's interpreting data and turning it into a story. So, you know, that's where I start when I'm thinking about the theory is like, well, you know, it makes sense that everything is just data. I mean, you know, the, everything is data. Light is data. An electron is literally, or a, uh, yeah, like literally an electron is a cloud of probability. Like it, there is not, there isn't an, an electron. It's, it's only there when you observe it. And other than that, it's just this cloud of fucking data. So that's where I think about it. Like it just makes sense in, in terms of like kind of even keeping it scientific, but I could, you know, I'm not knowledgeable enough to like really go into it. 